Hey everyone, Molly Lane here, and welcome to Venetica. I don't know much about this. Um, it looked interesting. It was on sale in the Steam store, so I figured why not. I don't remember the last time I played an RPG. Um, whenever Xenosaga 3 came out, I think. Let's start a new game. I feel a weak presence, just a spark of life, but it could ruin it all. But you said that Silence. no one could... We need to find the source and remove it. I will do what you please, my new archon. But where shall we start looking? Pretty mysterious so far. Okay. Too bad for a five-year-old game. I can't believe it's midsummer already. Time seems to go by so quickly. Yet, no matter how long I spend with you, it never seems enough. You know, I'm going tomorrow, so did you consider my offer? I did. And I would love to come with you. But I don't think I can. My destiny is not to be a hero. But my destiny is to be at your side. Just say the word, and I will stay here with you. No, Benedict, you can't stay here. I mean, look at you, standing here in that shiny mail. Don't waste your time in this village. Go and begin your training. I know it was always your dream. Me? I belong here. No matter what the people say, this is home to me. I'm no adventurer. Don't worry. To me, saving the world sounds so much easier than giving you all that you deserve. I won't be away for long, I promise. Careful. Don't promise things you can't keep. Hey, Benedict! Come over here! Something's wrong! Paul, you really know how to spoil a special moment, don't you? Wait here! And don't you dare go away! Well, this can only end well. Oh no! Who are these people? Run for your lives! you in a moment. Oh no! Help! Anybody help me! Don't you run away!
she needed saving because I think I was doing pretty good. Wasn't as easy as I thought. No. No. This can't be. You are safe now. That's Don't all do that this matters. to me. Please. I I will be with you always. Oh, no. Benedict. No. Okay, this is sad, but I mean, he was wearing armor, right? My daughter. Who are you? Oh. There is no time to mourn your loss. What is this? A dream? You are the only one who stands between life and eternal darkness. I don't understand. What is this about? You must heed my words. You have powers that you do not know of yet. You must learn to use these powers. It is essential. You talk about powers. I have no powers. My love is dead. Even though you were using a fire poker to kill a couple of assassins a few minutes earlier, but sure, we'll go with that. All will be explained soon, but we must move quickly. There is much to learn, for only you have the power to grow, the power to change the fate of your world. My world? There is nothing of value in this world for me anymore. Whatever it is you want from me, you'll have to find somebody else. Listen, my daughter. I will give you my power and protection. There are many ways you can utilize my power. You will be able to see people again. See people that passed from your world. Benedict. Alternatively, you could use your force to crush those who did this. Seek them out and wreak your revenge. Will that comfort you? Let's see. Um, what do we want to do? I always choose the wrong options here. Um, oh boy, I am not good at making decisions. What the hell? Yes, give me the power to carry out revenge. So, it is revenge you seek. Whichever road you choose, your destination remains the same. You must find the Moonblade. Find where I hid it. Then travel to Venice and use it to defeat the undead Archon. The Moonblade? Undead Archon? I don't understand. My time draws near. I can't remain in this world much longer. But do not worry. I will watch over you. There is no stronger ally than me. Now sleep, my daughter. But I have so many questions. Sleep. All will be easier tomorrow. But... Sleep. Okay, then. You're awake. I am so sorry. I just had such a horrible dream. Benedict died and I met, I think he was death. I was told to find a weapon and go to Venice. I'm so confused. What does it all mean? Oh no, you mean you don't know? That just makes this all the harder. What you think you dreamt was no dream. Although I wish with all my heart that it was. You mean, Benedict is dead? But I still feel his presence as if he was with me, right here. Many of us have died. My Joel, too, will never return home. It feels as though there's a veil obscuring my mind. I can't even think clearly. Don't worry. We all feel it. I'm sure it will soon pass. But you need to get moving. You can't stay here. Find something new to wear. Change out of those tattered clothes. Go ask Matteo. He has a daughter of your age. Matteo? 
the blacksmith at the end of the village road. You really are confused. He knows a fair bit about blades, too. Why did this happen last night? I know this must be hard for you to understand, but there are dark forces out there searching for you. I've always tried to protect you as if you were my own daughter, but this village is safe no more. You must leave as soon as possible. Get as far away as you can. What are these dark forces? Hush, child. The time for speaking has passed. You must take your leave. But wherever you go and whatever you do, you must avoid the mountains at night. Creatures from hell roam freely, and no mortal's blade can cut their undead flesh. If you see them, you must run as fast as you can. You are only a weak child. You would be no match for their strength. Now hurry! Go! I'll do the boring stuff first. You always cared for me. I cared for you since you were given to me as a child. I loved you as my own. My parents. I cannot tell you anything about them. This is for your own good. It would not do you well to hear it anyway. Trust me. Okay. And... Have you ever heard of a thing called a moon blade? Hell and poison! There'll be no talk of such things in my home, however crumbled it may be. <laughs> Maybe Mathiel will dare answer your questions. Fine. Goodbye. Okay, that's... Hey, Scarlet, come over here. Oh, I guess so. Hey, Scarlet, you survived the attack. I did. Why do you sound so surprised? I saw your fighting style last night. <laughs> Luck must have been on your side. In all seriousness, though, there are some things that you have to remember. When you go head to head with your enemy, every last one of them has a weak spot. And there are no exceptions. Everyone. Except you, of course, you've got more weak spots than a four-year-old pumpkin. But last night, I found those bastards' weak spots, and I can show you how to fight them. If you want. 
Also, if you're experienced enough, I can teach you some new combat skills. I guess this is more tutorial stuff. Skills. It's not much, but it... 